All right, good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, Mr. Watson. Thank you. Let's review all the letters we've been doing. L, la, 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 T, 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 F, 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 H, ha, 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 D, da, 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 I, E, 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 J, 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 A, 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 P, 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 B, 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 V, 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 X, 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 W, 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 Y, 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 Y. And today we're going to be finishing up letter Y. It is long, isn't it? Remember Y. Little slide, long slide. Little slide, long slide. Today I wanted to show you a picture of Y things. If you see something Y, raise your hand. Raise your hand if you see something. Skylar, what do you see that starts with Y? Yak. Um, Kaylani. Yo yo. Yo yo. What else, Pai Pai? What color is that? Yellow. Yeah, yeah, yellow. Ty, what else starts with Y? Not, oh, but what is he doing? Woo! Yawning. And do you know what this is that we eat? Yeah. Yeah. Yogurt or yam starts with Y too. And I have something behind this hidden window that starts with Y. Ah! He's yelling. Ah! All those things start with Y. And I would write the word yell on the board because we're going to sing a song where you can actually yell. Everybody say Y-E-L-L. -L. So you have permission to yell in the classroom on the one part of the song where we say, hold out. Just on that part. But the other time, you cannot yell in the classroom. So stand up, and we are going to yell on that one part. Here we go. Ahead and back to your spots. All right, thank you. You guys yelled really good. I'm going to erase that word now because I have to show you a story. And this story, no, let's read it. <clears throat> no, we're going to listen to the story. It has two words that I want to go over, but first let's see. The story is called Duck Soup by Jackie Urbanovic. And in this story, we're going to think of this word, which is ya um. Yum, yum, and yuck, yuck, not yak, but yuck. See, they're almost the same, but are they the same? No, yuck and yum. All right, let's read this story. Duck soup. Ooh, ducky's getting the pot. Yeah. This was it, some little pepper, some salt. Ooh, la, la. This was going to be yum, yum soup. The last time duck had made soup, it wasn't so good. He made fish soup with pickled lemon. Pew! Yuck! Then he made red hot chili gumbo. Whoo! Yuck, yuck! Then he made crackle barrel cheese marshmallow too many bean soup. Yuck! But he had cooked them all and it hadn't been very good. But this time he's making his own soup from, with carrots and potatoes and good vegetables. He smelled it. Mmm! Smells perfect, but not quite right. Duck, Max thought it over. A pinch of this, pinch of that, zucchini, no, chives. That's it, chives! It needs a herb from the garden. Just wait, my delicious soup. I'll be back. I'll make you perfect. So he walked out the door to the garden. While he was gone, knock, knock, knock. The front door opened. Doggy, birdie, and kitty cat. Oh, Max, what smells so good, said Doggy. Ooh, Max must be cooking again. I hope it's better than the last time when it was yuck. Hey, Max, where are you? said Doggy. 
We're going to eat up your soup if you don't come out. Hey, something's wrong, said Kitty. What's wrong? Uh-oh. I think I know where Max went. That's Max's feather. Oh, no. I told him he should never cook alone. Do you think he fell in? Yes, I'm sure he fell in the soup and cooked himself. Help, help, help. This is no time to panic. Max, grab the spoon, said Kitty Cat. Hurry, grab it. That won't work, said Doggy. He can't even hear you. I know. Go get the strainer. Strainer? The big bowl with little holes. Grab it. The big, strong doggy lifted up the soup, and they're going to find their friend. <gasps> ah! There goes Maxie's head. See? It's a potato, not his head. Oh, no! There goes his two little eyeballs. That's not eyeballs. It's little onions. Oh, Maxie's feet. Those aren't feet. Those are carrot slices. Smack. They all looked up as they heard the back door sh shut. Who could that be? <gasps> My soup! Max, you're alive! That night, Max was very quiet over dinner. Cheer up, Max. You're still a really great chef. And one day, you'll cook the perfect yum yum soup, and it'll be perfect. Yeah. Have a pizza. We know you're disappointed, but at least you didn't cook yourself into duck soup. And everyone laughed because they had thought he made himself into duck soup. Yeah. Wow, well, we're going to play a little game with that. Yeah. And I have the word yum that I am going to put right over here. And if you get something yummy, then you're going to put it on this side, okay? And I'm going to put the word yuck right there. If you get something yucky, you got to put it on the yuck, yuck side. And this is my soup, and it's alphabet soup. Alphabet soup is so good, isn't it? But there's some yucky things in the my alphabet soup, too, that we're going to try and get out. So I'm going to call some friends up, and we're going to stir inside of it and grab either some yummy alphabets or some yuck, yuck. All right, um, Mahina and Skylar, come on up here. I'm going to mix it up. Come to the side. All right, show us what you got. Eh. She got an eyeball. Can you show them the, ooh, do we want to eat eyeball soup? No. That's put it on the yuck side. And brains, do we want to eat brain soup? No. I think you guys got the yucky stuff. Put it under the yuck. I'm going to mix it up, Michaela and Keilani. Woo, I see something good. Can you grab some? Grab two, because these are small. You can grab two alphabets. Oh, wow, they got some ABCs. ABC soup is so yummy. Can you put it under the yum and tell us what letters you got? You got a V? And Kay, you got a B? And M, and what'd you get, Kay? A T, a T. I'm going to stir it up some more. Thank you, girls. Can I have these two boys come over here? What do you want to get in your soup? Ooh. Ooh, we got an eyeball. Is that yum or yuck? Yeah. And you, oh, you got a O and a I. He got yum and he got eyeball soup. I don't, I wouldn't eat eyeball soup. Yuck, yuck. All right, let's have Pai Pai and Oakley. Let's stir up our soup. I see some yummies and I also see some yuckies. Reach in and grab something. Ooh, she got letter E. You going to put that up? Oh, you can have two of them. You can have this one too. I. And what'd you get? Ew, he got, show your friends what you got to around because they can see it. Ew, it's an eyeball soup. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Okay, let's review what we got. Ooh, we got some good letters. Hey, if we put M, oops, I'm sorry. If we put M and E together, that would be me. Me, me, me. Or if we put B and E together, that would spell B. And we have T-O, which spells two. I'm going to the store. Two. And I think we could put B-E-T. B-E-T. I bet you I could do it. I bet you I can. Or we could put M-E-T. Met. I'm, I, if, you meet, if you met someone at the store. So all of these are our yum yum letters. We got B. And say it with me. V. And how many I's did we get? two eyes. I think we got two E's too. And we got an M and another E. 
and a T and a O. We got a lot of yummies, but then we also got some yuckies. Ew, eyeballs and brains and livers. So I want to go over another word that looks like yuck, but it's not yuck. So let me show you this word right here. Yuck. Yuck. We just did that one. And this word, yuck. Are they the same? No. What's different about them? Yeah, the middle's different. This is yak, and this is yak. So, so this means like yucky, yucky, but this is yak. And I want to ask you a question. What is a yak? Does anyone know what a yak is? Raise your hand. Packer, what's a yak? He kind of looks like a bull. He looks like a bull. Skylar? And he has horns. And he has horns. And he's hairy. He's a hairy. He's fluffy. He's hairy. Um, is he a nice, like a dog that you would go pet him? No. He's not a tame animal. He's a wild animal. And he's very territorial. That means he protects his land that, he's, that he lives on with his mommy. and his, his, He's mean if you try and go up to him. He's trying to protect his babies. So you wouldn't try to pet him, especially if he's in his territory. And when he sees certain colors, sometimes he gets mad. So we're going to play this game called Yak Attack. And I'm going to yell, because why is for yell? When I yell Yak Attack, that's where we're going to have this crazy yak right here, the Y-A-K, and you guys are going to be the yak. So let me show you. I got some hairy, yakky. He's a little stinky because he doesn't wash his hair with some horns. And this carpet that we're sitting on, imagine it's the grass yard where he's eating his grass. And he doesn't like anyone stepping on his grass yard. That's when he's going to, that, that he can charge at you. Okay, but if you're off to the side, he can't charge you. But if you're in his space, if you're in his territory, that's when he can get you. The yak, look at these pink girls. One time, the yak ate a little pink flower. It made his tummy hurt, that poison pink flower. And now when he sees pink, he gets really mad. He paws the earth. I don't like pink. I don't like pink. That flower made me sick. Are you that little pink flower that made me sick? When I say yak attack, you got to run past them. Ready? Yak attack! Oh, no, he hates, oh, he hates Skyler. Skyler got eaten by our yak. Would you like to be the next yak? Yeah. All right, little pink girls can sit down. Because now this yak likes pink. She is pink. She likes pink. But this yak doesn't like blue. <gasps> if you have the color blue, come line up over here. Blue pants. Yep, blue pants. Who else has blue in them? Hey, oh, you have some blue in yours, Michaelia? I see little blue. All right, our blue friends are lined up. This yak doesn't like the color blue. Because one time she tried to swim in the ocean. Can yaks swim? They can't even swim, and she almost drowned in the blue ocean. She's like, that blue looks like the ocean. I don't like blue. Paw the earth. I don't like blue. Yak attack! Oh, oh no, she ate our blue friend. Pipe pie got eaten by the yak. We're going to do a picture word chart of all the Y things. I have my yaks and my yucky and my yummy, and this boy's yelling, and I even got a yo-yo. Because last time we played with yo-yos. And I got some words. Okay. Let's see. Can I have our friend, Skylar? Skylar, can you do this one? Yo, yo. Remember, yo-yo starts with Y. Yo-yo to yo-yo. There's the yo-yo. Perfect, Skylar. Can you go give to someone else? Come, Michaelia. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, ew, those wormies are yuck, yuck, yuck. Yuck, there's the wormies, ew, yuck. All right, she, go ahead and give to someone raising their hand. Pi Pi, come Pi Pi. Yuck, ah, yuck, yuck. yuck. He's that crazy hairy animal. Yuck, there's the daddy yak with his baby yak. Okay, go give to someone else raising their hand. Yuck, um, yum, yum, yum candy. I see some yummy candy. Yum to yum, that's a match. Can you do y -L? yeah l He's yelling, ah! There he is, he's yelling. Let's count how many Y's we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's try and read it. Yo, 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 thank you. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Who right there? Yuck, yuck, the little yak and the daddy yak. Yum. 
Danielle. Thank you. Today we're going to be doing this word. Look up here. Yeah. Everyone say Y A K. And that is a yak. Yak. Not yak, but yak. So when you get your yak, you're going to put Y's on the back. You can write the word yak. Then when you turn it around, he needs two eyeballs, a nose. I made kind of a mad mouth. And then we've got to make our yak hairy because he's different than a bull. He's hairy. So the, lastly, you're going to get the scissors. And when you get the scissors, are we going to cut off his head? No. no. Are we going to cut off his horns? No. No, he needs his horns to protect him. We don't want to cut off his feet. He needs to run. But you're just going to cut little hairs so that he can have a lot of hair on him. You see how nice and hairy he is now? A lot of hairs all over him. Even by his tail, you can do some hairs. Okay, and that's how our yak is going to look like. A nice hairy yak with some horns. All right, everyone ready to do our yaks? Yeah. All right, let's say goodbye, friends. Bye.